What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total Ball Let's Play as Mexico. So to round off what happened last time, we successfully recaptured Charleston and we pushed back the Americas in Upper Louisiana. Now we have to get about the business of destroying the American armies on the field in this part of the world. And I believe my intention, well my intention is for sure, is to do this, attack Nathaniel Fitzmaurice. Oh, unfortunately not bringing their other armies into the battle. Nevertheless, that's good for us, and they've got a crazy amount of cavalry, so this shouldn't be a long battle. Because I've only got 48 uh, cavalry per year. Easy for me to make them flee the field of battle. So let's get cracking. The measure of a man's character knew he would never be found out. Oh, nuts. What terrible weather. See how it's messed of all my graphics? So, how's my fuel of fire over here? Abysmal. Let's place it over here. Fuse Aleros and Militia covering the left flank. Split up my cuirassiers. One on the right, one on the left. Two artillery batteries in the center. General positioned. And then let's open up on them. Although they're all going to aim at this three pounder horse artillery. Sounds a bit funny as well. I guess we're cavalry going right, but these guys can just drop into square and they'll be fine. Um, so this flank's probably gonna. And let's put them in the warehouse. There you go, the first opening musket shots of the battle. Again, the sound's all funny. Curiosiers. Deploy into the general's bodyguard. See, so they will, in the rain, they will suffer from, um... Oh, don't... Okay, yeah, they have killed... Okay, I've got to, okay, I've got to actively remember not to do that. They did mow down a bunch of my own men. Don't make them charge, just make them trot into the new General's bodyguard. Deploy my infantry in to fight the, the cavalry. Redeploy my infantry to flank. Redeploy these guys in the line to provide fire onto the infantry. They are routing, which isn't surprising. 
Cassiers into the next Union you know, General's bodyguard. Continue on, I suppose. Hull fire. Form square us. It's not surprising that uh, in the end. Okay, so they're not being attacked by anyone. Realign. Redeploy my line, redeploy my militia, because my centre is looking a bit weak, so I need my flanks to pick up the slack. Get out of square. Now there we go. This is this flank stabilised. These guys should get chewed up. I'm going to win in this combat. I'm over. I'm overmatching them in other directions. They fired into the rear of their own provincial cab unit. Reposition my colonial line to provide fire onto this unit in square. Heroic. Reinforcements are here. Smash straight into their general. Hit their militia units. My Crassier should be able to assassinate their their um, general. Chase down that volunteer infantry regiment. Bits. Turn guard mode off and chase him down. Where's my general? Have him chase them down. Have them run into this combat. And then let's turn fire up. Well, off. Oh wow. Okay, they've started to realign. So you open fire on the militia. You open fire onto the militia as well. So you guys don't get involved in the combat. You guys need to run. Set up a new battle line. You go in there and knock out this general. So the sooner this combat ends, the sooner I can spin around and redeploy.
to be honest, charge on. Oh yes, so you chase after that foot unit, General. Their General chase after... Not the General's bodyguard, chase after this militia unit. There's too many cavalry units to chase after. Continue. Turn all my artillery to f off. stop firing. So chase after that line infantry unit. That's the priority. Well, this is more of a tasty snack. Chase after that line infantry, actually. So get my general to chase after a smaller unit. Oh, you can chase down this foot infantry. The first regiment of foot. The first regiment of foot with no experience attached to it. Yes, are you finished? You are finished. I just made them kill things at this point. Then let's speed it up. Keep all my cavalry applied. They will escape. Sadly. They fled, so it's just these remaining guys. Okay, so let's redeploy all my cavalry against this target. Because they are scattered all over the shop. Got him. Phew. <laughs> um, if it was a bit clearer, I would have been able to have had a better angle on what was going on. Um, yes, eh, two to one ratio, not so bad. That unit's been s utterly yes, smashed, no. and then fall back Bravo. and replenish, I think. Well, as much as I can. Public servant dies. Which one? Eh, maybe let's bring in. Let's bring in this guy to manage Europe. Good. End turn. It's the knife for retreating to hold Michigan territory. There we go. So this is slightly inevitable, where once you destroy the AR in the field of battle, they know they can't beat you and they won't consolidate. So rather than, you know, form a position or defensive position or try to regroup, they just scatter into the countryside. So here comes an Austrian fleet. Keep 
close eye on them. If they declare war with Britain, like, that would be quite problematic. Ottoman Empire. The Russian... Oh, I forgot about that Russian uh, fleet. It's still um, harassing my... Harassing my trade routes. Successful mission. Go take it, I suppose. Maintain siege for now. Commercial basin in Pensacola. Good, good, good. Make sure I am taxing these places after I catch them. So let's move that army out to take out that interloper. Bring them back to Charleston. Replenish, replenish. Nice strong ship, uh, fleet of the lines. So let's go and just to knock out this Russian fleet that's being annoying. Fifth reign of war galleon. Don't really want either of those. I'll just take the money. Get them back to port. Good, you are being taxed. Madrid is being taxed. Good, 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 good. So then I want this, yeah, this, this navy to regroup. Spend a term regrouping, get one more, um, one more ship, and then I'll sail them off to uh, the trade node, the ivory trade node, the ivory trade region. So everything's fixed. Repair you. Repair you. Replenish again. Let's get going with the infrastructure again. Stupid nephew frontiersman. Who's the frontiersman? You are. Followers Galloper. Plus one command in land battles. Plus one to command of fighting in the Americas. Lovely. Proper nice breastplate has got on him too. If I did that and this, would this convince some of their armies to head north to try raid me? It could well do. But let's... Let's assault Michigan. No, actually, no, I'd rather get another turn of replenishment in. Let's hit end turn. So now we are getting to the point where I've got more money than I can spend, which is nice. Ah! That army has to fall back. It has to fall back. Because <laughs> I'm not going to capture Michigan to lose Charleston. Not Charleston. Upper Louisiana. That's just stupid. This is why you need more of a um, a combined coherent front line because right now units can just slip through so rather than having a net I'm just slowly pushing forward with a very leaky net military alliance no you're not fighting anyone at the minute Gonna take them a few turns to get Paris under control, but have you seen how many stacks the Austrians have around Paris? They're not gonna to struggle to keep them under control. Oh there you go, the Russians are they got they got super annoyed that I attacked their fleet. <laughs> Might be worth an actual naval battle actually, depending on 
Brave rebels. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. So let's run Select them around. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A naval so much more. port allows the construction of warships. Okay, so you move up and then finish off that stack or that raiding force. Good. So things have finally started to level out in Charleston. Let's upgrade you, let's upgrade the farm. So I do need to fight this battle to make sure they don't run around me. Oh. How many turns have you been there? Well, you're extremely lucky you didn't get annihilated. Let's attack to the north. Split their forces, open up a second front. There we go, completely unguarded. And then let's run into the run into the port to smash it down. So is it dry dark? Good shout, because they, they they do get cape cap for shoe to you can upgrade to a trade port if you want. Once I've got the money, I may as well start upgrading things. Just no infrastructure, none. To be honest, I don't need to fully replenish these guys to continue their mission. Wind work, wind islands, easy smash. Build walls. I'd like these two, but I don't want to go to war with Britain for them. Not yet, anyway. But yes, this army, well, once they're replenished, this army will head west and take out uh, the rebels. This army will head north and engage in this army under Adam Gilbertson. Give him the artillery. And then I'm probably going to fight this battle. They're pretty knackered. Let's fight it. Wherever I get a good opportunity to slaughter US troops... In this campaign, I must take it as Mexico. Even though I'm earning a crazy amount of money, um, it's all trade. So if someone made a concerted effort to navally blockade me, I'd be in trouble. But no one seems to be able to at the minute. I don't know what techniques I'm, which is it's kind of a broken mechanic. Because you think, how's that fair? I can't keep it secret what technology I have, because they, they have to know what ones they have, what ones I have, in order to ask me what ones they... You know... So they know what ones to ask me for. It'd be better, I think, if it was a bit more ambiguous. So that they never actually... They don't know what I've got until... You know, they're presented with the full list and I can ask for them. But, you know, there's no guarantees I have it. Put unit of grenadiers in behind. Okay, I need to put some. Want to put grenadiers with the artillery because they've been doing a lot of cavalry charges into the artillery at the minute. And obviously, it's, it's critical. You turn fire at will off. Let's put my cavalry on the right because that's where they're weakest. And I'll put some frontiersmen to do a bit of skirmishing. And open fire. Everyone's going to open fire on the artillery, which is fine. God, they are depleted, aren't they? It's colonial light cavalry. God, they yeah, uh, they are very depleted.
So let's keep the this far battery shooting at them. Let's change the target of my howitzers. Whoa, no, let's get my howitzers. Get my artillery to shoot at them. So this cover on the left has been engaged. back and then change your fire onto that foot line infantry didn't even have to turn for it well off for that maneuver Deploy my cavalry. Stray for the native warp. No, don't go straight for them. Run around them and hit their cavalry. one of my infantry units got hit by their own artillery so let's turn it all off just turn it off there we go charge 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 deploy my general chase them down Charge in the native musket and auxiliary on the first charge. They've lost a third of their men in the first charge. actually charge you in. good stuff. Oh, 
there's one general's bodyguard guy left. <laughs> there you go. I'll go for them. Charge straight into them, then probably triple speed, because there aren't many Americans left. Let's end it. I've utterly smashed them. There's no point in me trying to... Not yet, anyway, because they're going to retreat in the right direction. Good. 400 men knocked out 1,200. Yeah, 95 men remaining. Then replenish again. It's your replenishing, your replenishing. So what about over here? Some second rates. To be honest, I might treat myself to a fleet battle, but that will be her. Huh, well, you know what? Just just so I don't forget. <laughs> Set up for a fleet battle. But rightio, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. There are a lot there have been lots of fighting in this part. And yeah, I'll see you in the next part where we will destroy Borislav to Urin. Hopefully. We all know how good I am at naval battles. Yeah. But radio, thanks so much you guys, and I'll see you next time.